Okay, I got the Sorex Pro here. I'm going to try to do a little video. There ain't much online about these things, about how to set them up or how to run them or anything. So what I want to do is just do some, try to make it fairly short and just go through the, you know, basic keys and things like that. And it might give you guys at least an idea what's going on. Okay, we're going with the manual here. It says um, that it has, <clears throat> the detector has three algorithms. And um, the first one is the MSF. It says this is a traditional and widely used in previous models medium speed algorithm for general use. It is intended for slightly trashy areas. So the first one, the MSF, is a general use. Medium speed is intended for slightly trashy areas. Okay, the second algorithm is SSF. It says the main feature of this algorithm is better detection of magnetic properties of metal objects. It's basically flat ones, iron plugs, tin pieces, etc., which are often mistaken for non-ferrous objects. The algorithm has significantly longer sound response delay as intended for search in non-trashy areas. So the first one, the MSF, said slightly trashy. The second one, SSF, said non-trashy. And the third algorithm is the uh, MT or FSF filtering. It's a uh, metal trash or fast dimensional harmonic search filtering. It says its main feature is fast signal processing. It is intended for trashy areas. Okay, so that's the three, the MSF, the SSF, and the MT, the metal trash or whatever, for the trashy areas when you get in trashy areas. Okay, now we're gonna go over the buttons. Um, Notice all these, not all of them, so they got a number, there's a letter A, M, they got S, V, up and down arrows, and plus and minus, and a pinpoint button. So we're going to go over what these buttons do. The first button is the all metal button, upper left hand corner. It toggles between discrimination and all metal. So just one press is either discrimination or all metal. Pretty simple. Now if you hold it, long hold it down, it brings up another menu. It lets you all cycle through these. It lets you uh, set your function button, your EMI filter, you can go up and down with it. Economy mode, you can turn it on or off. See that? That's really it. EMI filter, economy mode, or your function button. Now what this function button does is it lets you set up, basically it's like a toggle key. I'm going to keep hitting it so it don't time out. This is saying what's going to happen when you press this toggle key. Well, I'm going to say, I want to change my algorithm. I'm going I'm to toggle between algorithms, so I'm just going to leave it at that. My function button now toggles between algorithms. All right, so you probably can't see it on the camera, but right up here, it's toggling between algorithms now. Now, to get th them are the two, the MSS, MSF and the SSF, to toggle on the trash mode, you hit this one down here, this down arrow. That'll toggle on the MM mode. And then toggle it back off. Toggle it back on and off. Okay, so we got the A button covered. We're going to go with uh, the ground balance. I think it's got a V. So if you press it one time, hold the detector, I think they set up, you know, like three feet or whatever, up off the ground. Press the button. Wait three seconds. Lower it to the ground. And then it hopefully will ground balance with a straight line across there. Now, if you got a manually ground balance, just hit this one more time. And now I can go up and down. See, I can manually ground balance it like that. Now, if I hold the ground balance in for the long press, I can. I got different choices here. I got zoom weak signals. What that's going to do? That's going to, on the holograph or whatever it's called, holograph, if the sig if the deeper it is, the shorter that little signal is. So what it's going to do, I believe, is probably zoom that little weak signal out where you can see it better. So next one, accumulation. That'll let you, right now, every sweep, the every sweep of the coil, it paints, you know, on the holograph. 
and it, with the accumulation off it does one as soon as you hit the next target it does another one with the accumulation on it'll put two or three up there at once so that's all accumulation is accumulating those signals let's see what else we got contrast so well, that's you know pretty self-explanatory how you if you want the screen a little bit lighter a little dark it just changes the contrast yeah it's getting a lot lighter there and now it's, it's pretty good right there and that's it zoom weak signals accumulation on or off or adjust your contrast all right the m key here menu so what we're going to do we're going to get back to here okay you press the m key one time you can adjust your sensitivity up and down press it again we're toggling through the menus you can adjust your threshold press it again you can adjust your gain press it again this minus 10 with a box around it that's your left we'll just call it border left discrimination border whatever we'll call it that so you can move that whoops got it it times out so you can move your border around let's say you want to reject you want to maybe look for nickels and above you can you move that around so you can move it in, you know backwards or forward hit it again now you're on your right border you can so you can go down to accept 90 or you can toggle back up and select a little little pie shaped window there and we're back to sensitivity we're back to the main menu all right if you long press it now you got auto tracking on or off I think it's a that's a ground filter of some type I really didn't read up on that too much but ground filter there's your algorithms you can so you can change the MSS SS change your algorithms through there you want to discriminate hot rocks is off auto tracking off and we're back to the filter okay now the down arrow here I told you already it, it toggles between the trash mode and the other algorithms I don't know why you can get the toggle two algorithms here or this or turn on the trash mode here okay if you long press this one nothing happens it just cycles through the algorithms same way with this one if you long press this one it don't do nothing it just cycles through these two don't have basically you can't long press them now let's go with this a button up here I just like to think of it as audio so you hit it one time you can adjust the volume the ferrous volume so that's cool you can make the iron a little lower if you want or you can make the volume of the weak signals I look at that as modulation the lower it is probably the fainter the weak signals are going to be okay so that was it there's volume ferrous volume and weak signal volume I think if you run it all the way up there won't be no modulation now if you long press the A button here's where we can get different sound indicators see we can go with there's just different different sounds and one of them I don't want to go into all that but one of them is like a, a mixed mode one of them is not it's it's pretty cool they got some pretty cool sounds you can go into your mode you can switch modes see that this is a I like I kind of like this PST mode it's, it's it's pretty neat it sounds pretty cool the targets do LT boundary I think that is um, your low tone boundary right now everything from 15 and above is gonna hit you know it'll be like it's it's a high conductor or you know not iron so let's go back in there come on okay somebody's got a long push all right so LT boundary is minus 14 I think it's saying anything from 14 and lower hits with an iron and anything from 15 negative 15 and above would hit with a non iron sound they that way things that maybe your mask can fall down into that zone will still hit you know a long press it all right the next one melody I think that's a startup melody you can change that and we're back to the sound indicator things and the modes and so that's all on that one now the pinpoint 
one time to you know to pinpoint I don't I think it's just on or off the pinpoint is but here's what's cool while you're in the pinpoint you can use these up and down arrow keys to basically I look at like pinpoint the sensitivity in the pinpoint it seems like it's super hot right off the bat so I lowered mine down a little bit so you can adjust the pinpoint there the sensitivity now if you long press the pinpoint button you get this it's just basically like quick settings it shows you everything your sensitivity your threshold your gain your EMI filter and your uh, you can't really do nothing with it just look around so it's just basically a quick way to see all your settings but while you're in this menu hold this one down again and it goes into different options here like first one is tone bound so I thought we okay you gotta hit the menu key on that one I think this is the boundaries for the tone breaks like it break at 10 40 and 70 I believe that's what that is because I think you can manipulate these around and you know change change where your tone breaks are at so next one is tones tune up RTM Arr. it's easy to mess it up okay the tones tune up I think this is where you can set the frequency of the tone like uh, you see the RT the LT frequency 2 frequency 3 and I think that has a lot to do with what sounds you're running also because on some of them there'll be five choices frequency choices you can you know make it kind of tone these tune these to you know if you don't like that super high tone we'll just lower this number a little bit the only thing I found about it though is it seems like you can't go like 100 400 100 600 it seems like it has to go like 100 you know it, it has to get bigger every time it seems like but still you can at least make some changes and uh, I was told that some of the other ones had had five uh, five frequencies you could select I was told the frequencies corresponded to the uh, ID but they went in blocks of 22 so if you think about that 22 and a half so if you had five at 22 and a half I guess that'd be 90 so I could say okay this one here number two is gonna break at 22 and a half then this one's gonna break at 45 whatever you can kinda of get an idea where your tones what what target will fall into what tone I don't know if that makes sense but you know that's pretty much what they told me so let's that was a now we got one more selection it says other selections dang it it's easy to get out of the menus it's weird you gotta hit menu so this is this is another another section of the menu it's it's a K filter the K filter for the MM mode and the rate the K filter they said if you lower that number you can possibly get deeper targets but you might have more uh, falsing you got the K filter and the K filter for the MM mode so you got two different ones there and then you got this rate MM not sure what that is um, I, I didn't really see a whole lot about it in the manual so really I mean I think that's really about it I hope it helps somebody a little bit it's like I said it uh, took me quite a while to figure all this stuff out and I really take it out and play with it and try all the different modes the different sounds and it's pretty good and what's I got the little uh, what is it is it a six by nine or whatever it is the little six by nine coil in the 14 kilohertz the depth on the thing is just unbelievable I was hitting some like nine inch coins easily me and Kenny K house were out and it was a sand pit but it don't matter I put a uh, I think it was a copper penny or maybe it was a quarter put it down there 12 inches and this thing was hitting on it it was unreal so hopefully this helps someone a little bit